BOQ Estimating is exclusively developed by SOS Consulting for more solutions in Zoho. In this video, I'm going to take you through a series of features and functions that will help you with all your estimating needs. Before we begin, let me explain how BOQ Estimating works. BOQ Estimates are made up of recipes. You can create your own template recipes and group these recipes to build your template estimates. When you open a recipe record, it contains BOQ items. You can set up your own items and link them to one or many recipes. In this example, I'm using recipes designed for the building and construction industry, but recipes can be used for other industries like professional services, manufacturing, wholesale and retail. BOQ items are dynamic, so they can easily be adapted to any industry. Each item is assigned to a type. In this scenario, I have materials, labor, expenses, or subcontractors. You can also use other options like goods and services. Your template items can include information, such as quantities, costs, and pricing. Any information you set up in the templates can be customized when you're building your estimates. Now let's start by showing you some quick tools to create new estimates. We're going to start from a sales inquiry and click on the blueprint transition to create the estimate. In this widget, you can choose one or many recipe groups. These may be the types of projects that you're working on. This intuitively shows you what recipes you need. You can remove any recipe not required. Once you've selected your recipes and created the estimate, each template is automatically cloned. You can now update these recipes to build your customer estimate. If you don't want to group recipes, not a problem. When you edit the estimate, you have the option to add templates. You can use keyword searches to find the ones you want. If you need guidance on what recipes to select, there is also a linked recipes feature. Linked recipes will prompt you to select other recipes associated with the one you've chosen. This means if one recipe impacts another, you won't forget to select it. If you use takeoff software to build items and quantities, you can import your CSV file into the BOQ items module and then select the items from here. If you're editing an existing estimate and you've already used the clone estimate feature to create comparisons, you can select the estimate numbers you want to retrieve and update the recipes you're working on. Once you've selected your recipes, you can enter the estimate settings such as tax rates, labor rate tables and discount options. Rate tables and discounts will automatically update your estimate pricing. Once the settings are confirmed, you can proceed to build the estimate. But don't worry, if you've forgotten a recipe, you can still add more recipes in the Build Estimates tab. You can search for the recipes, add them to the estimate. You can also clone recipes if you need multiple copies and remove recipes no longer required. Recipes are displayed under Stages. You can drag and drop the recipes between stages. You can also rename these stages to suit the estimate you're working on. Each recipe can be edited. Recipes contain lots of features like linking variations. Watch the variation management video to understand more about that process. There are also options in recipes where you can manage inclusions and exclusions. You can set these up in your recipe templates. When building an estimate, you can change the status of each option and create or remove options. The options will pull through to your proposal document. You can discount the entire recipe if you need to add cost without impacting the price. You can enter a description for the recipe, which can also be used in your proposal. Recipes can be moved to another estimate number if you're thinking about later stages or doing estimate comparisons. If we now click on a recipe, you'll see all the BOQ items listed below. If you click on template items, you can search for templates using keywords and add those items to your recipe groups. You can also create brand new items or link the items created through your variation management process. Just like recipes, you can also clone items and delete them if they're no longer required. From this view, you can easily update your quantity, your unit cost, your markup details, unit price and discount. You can also edit your BOQ item description. Once you have edited the items on your recipe, you can click on the lock record to save your changes. As your templates are linked to the type of product or service you're selling, 
the figures at the top are automatically updated. In this example, I have labor, material expense, and subcontractor services. But remember, these names are dynamic and be changed to suit your industry. I can see the profit and markup percentages with the breakdown by monetary values. These amounts will reflect the currency settings in your Zoho account. Now let's look at all the features and functions under a BOQ item. To do this, we'll click on the edit icon. Each BOQ item has advanced features to customize the product details, suppliers, budget grouping, compare list features, and forecast income requirements. You can enter your pricing and enter the time allocated for the schedule. It handles purchasing materials in a foreign currency and setting up recurring items. You can trigger RFQs for supplier bids, use allowances for prime cost items and provisional sums, specify grouping for your proposal, and enter the project requirements to automatically build your schedule once the contract is signed. To deep dive into all of these features, watch the Advanced BOQ Items Features video. Once you've finished updating your BOQ recipes and items, you can jump into the Compare Estimates tab. This section displays each item grouped using the Compare List feature in your Advanced BOQ Item settings. Each group displays the total value and total quantities for all the items under this group. In this example, they're grouped by labor, materials, subcontractor, and expenses. In the information icon, you can view all the underlying BOQ items. Using this feature, you can change the group and update your quantities and pricing. Once you update the changes, they're immediately reflected in the Compare Estimate tab. The Compare Estimate tab also has a feature to update the markup on all items. You can update the markup percentage from here and the value will be updated on all items. If certain items have more room to adjust the markup than others, then you can use the Product Attributes feature to change the markup on a group of items. You can choose the type of group to use. This will display the subtotals for each one. You can adjust the markup on a selected group any groups not updated will remain the same. Once the changes are applied by clicking on Update, the revised values are reflected in the subtotals. Once you're happy with the estimate, you can either save or create a second estimate using the Clone Estimate feature and compare your estimates side by side. Watch the Creating Estimate Comparisons video for more information. If you've activated job planning in the inquiry, you will see the Schedule tab. The Schedule tab allows you to start planning your timelines before the contract is approved. Watch the Schedule Planning video for more information. If you're satisfied your estimate is finished, it's time to save. If you've deleted any recipes, they are listed here for you to verify what you want to do with them. You can move them to a new estimate number if you think they may be required later, or you can confirm they should be permanently deleted. Once the save is complete, you'll automatically return to the inquiry module. Then you can click on Edit Estimate to make further changes or convert your estimate to a proposal. Watch the Creating Stylish Proposals video for more information.